Chapter 9, Strangers. There is no passing alone. At every challenging, complicated, and complicating juncture of my life, getting to college, getting a job, getting a driver's license so I could have a valid proof of identification, so I could get a job, keeping the job, a stranger who did not remain a stranger saved me. I use that word deliberately because that was what each of them did, even if they didn't know what they were doing. Saved. They saved me. After telling me that my green card was fake, the curly-haired, bespectacled woman at the DMV could have called immigration officials. After finding out that I was ineligible for financial aid because I don't have any legal papers, the administrators, teachers, and parents at Mountain View High School didn't need to help me. I didn't even ask them for help because I didn't know how to, but they offered help even when I didn't know what kind of help I needed, even when they didn't know what they were doing. After discovering that I was ineligible for a summer internship, the recruiter could have reported me to someone. After I confessed about the fake papers, the doctored social security card, the driver's license I wasn't supposed to have, the senior newsroom personnel could have dragged me to that Office of Human Resources and gotten me fired. I don't know why they did what they did, but I know for sure that all these Americans, all these strangers all across the country have allowed people like me to pass. If just five people, a friend, coworker, a classmate, a neighbor, a faith leader, helped one of the estimated 11 million undocumented people in our country, then illegal immigration as we know it would have touched at least 66 million people.